Hello everyone, I'm so glad to see you back! Can you apply ceramic coating over the paint protection fill? That's what we're gonna talk about today. There are many different companies who make ceramic coatings and most of them will have a product that suits paint protection fill. Uh, I have tried a few different brands including Ceramic Pro, uh, G-Technique, Kamikaze and today we will try IGL Kenzo. We will install it on this Coda which is already wrapped in paint protection film. Most of the paint protection film products already have hydrophobic effect stronger or weaker depend on the PPF brand. But one downside on the strong hydrophobic effect products that this effect do not last long. Uh, I prefer to use product with a weaker hydrophobic effect but which lasts longer time and if I want stronger hydrophobic effect I will apply high quality ceramic coating over the PPF and then I will be sure that this effect will stay at least for a few years. So let's check out the product we're gonna use today. We have IGL Kenzo. Let's open this box. As you see we have full package. Um, base coat, top coat, pre-coat, application pad. Then let's open and check what is inside. What we have there. Oh, very nice keyring. That's beautiful. We have instruction, warranty cards. As well, we have uh, gloves, which we will need for application, uh, applicators, and cloth. Yep. By the way, if you want to buy this product, you must be trained and certified by IGL. This is what they did back in Australia. So, let's begin our installation. Before we start, let's do a little test. If you follow us, probably you know that on this car, on this roof, we have five different paint protection film products. And as I mentioned before, some of the products are, have a stronger hydrophobic effect than others. And I will show you right now. Probably see these lines. This lines like one PPF brand, uh, product, brand and product and different, and one more. Okay, let's spray water. You can see straight away, water dots are smaller and more perfect than on this PPF product. Let's check this part. You see how beautiful it looks? Uh, but probably you, you can see clearly that both of them have hydrophobic effect, just on this product hydrophobic effect is a bit stronger. But I hope you will be able to catch clarity of the film. Because for me, priority is a clarity. Because comparing this product to this product, uh, this one have way better clarity and gloss level is higher than this one. I prefer to choose product with better clarity and deeper gloss level instead of the product with higher hydrophobic effect. Because from my experience, this hydrophobic effect do not last long. So what I prefer to do, I prefer to choose better clarity product and if I need to boost hydrophobic effect, I always can choose high quality ceramic coating and apply it on the entire vehicle. And in this case, our hydrophobic effect will last way longer. And then we have win-win situation. So let's begin. I'm not gonna go too much in details how to do preparation, just I wanna let you know the car must be washed and cleaned very well. And let's start with our installation process. We have this pre-coat product. Let's unpack, it's still new. What do you think, can we just do like this? Pre-coat, yeah, pre-coat is kind of the degreaser. And now after the car is clean, we need to wipe it down. We need to wipe down every single panel with this pre-coat. Spray a bit on the car, on the rags.
After we wiped everything with pre-coat, now we're gonna use base coat. But so we need the sponge as well. We're gonna need rubber glove and oh, come on, come on. This applicator. Okay. So back. For this product, um, before we use, we need to shake it. Uh, and uh, yeah, this product you need to apply on the panel. Oh, by the rules, three by three inches. But because this uh, car is wrapped in paper protection film, and uh, panels are more slippery, you can do panel by panel. Don't need to do small squares. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, shake it. Let's apply. Make sure you're overlapping everything and you're covering the entire panel. And now we need to wait 5 to 10 minutes. But instead of waiting, let's apply this product on the second panel. So we applied on a few panels, we waited for almost 10 minutes and as I can see now is the time to wipe this product. We'll do this now, just buff it up. Make sure you're removing the entire product. You don't want to leave it. Now when we buff off everything and waited for two hours, it's a time to apply top coat. Oh, basically. Last bottle in the box. Oh. Again, we need to shake it. We need to put new glove on. And definitely we need to change our microfiber. And for top coat, application will be a bit faster. Um, we're going to do panel by panel. I will apply two panels and I will start wiping this panel. After I apply one more panel and I will wipe this panel because I don't need to leave this product on the panel longer than five minutes. Ooh, almost.
What are you doing there? Eh? Huh? You, you. Hey, you. You want to wrap the car? All good? Wall to check? <laughs> All the <Yeah>, cost? <laughs> So we done with application and now we need to wait for a few days till this product will cure completely. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's me, Rob Virus, and I will see you next time.